Safety Liner C2 here. So I was on the phone with John earlier tonight, and he was telling me that he was going past this certain place and blah, blah, blah. I couldn't remember exactly where it was. Mind you, John lives in Houston, where I used to live. So he gave me some reference points, and then it kind of clicked. Oh, yeah, that's where it is. That's I, I know where this is. But that kind of got me thinking, because one of the locations that he gave me was a high school that has a bus lot in it. So for anyone in Houston, I am sure you are familiar with this district, and I know there are a lot of Houston people on this channel. But today we are going to be looking at Katy ISD bus lots, and they are... They, they don't fit the norm with other Houston specs. They're the odd one out for sure, and I want to show off the three lots that they have today. So here is an overall view of the first lot. Unfortunately, we're not able to see much in this lot. I just want to show it off just so it's included. So taking a look at 3D view in the back row, we can see some C2s, some CEs, and more CEs. Up front, we have some 3800s, some more C2s, some couple first gens, a couple international Aries, uh, FS65, another 3800, a couple HDXs, some first gen CEs, and that's it. You can also see that there are a ton of buses under here, and I assume that these are all the current buses and that those back here are the spares, but I can't confirm that. Right here is the garage and there is the main transportation building. Right over here we can see that there's a Crown 3800, there's an ER right here a 3800 and a bluebird what i assume to be 3800 but looks like an fs65 so i think they actually had a few of those taking a look on street view you can see that there are a handful of ce's around the lot some icre's a c2 in the garage and a c2 back over there and then from the other side of the lot you can just see c2's and ce's so we'll move on to the second lot this is the newest lot from what i understand this used to be a temporary lot and then got converted to a permanent lot back in 2017 i believe you're not going to be able to see too too much but a little bit more than we did before again on 3d view most of this stuff is the same there's some c2s there's some icre's there's a handful of ce's over here uh, a couple more ce's back there now again on 3d view this is mostly going to be the same uh, a bunch of c2s icre's back here some more C2s and some CEs over here. There's a handful of first gen CEs, a couple FS65s, some 3800s, and a first gen CE right there on the end. This is unfortunately the only decent shot I can get. This is from May 2016. You can see a bunch of first gen CEs in the background, some C2s, some more CEs, and that's pretty much it. And you can also see that they were in the process of building what I assume to be the office right there. I'm not exactly sure, but that's what I take it to be. January 2019 we definitely have a better view starting off with the shorty handicapped c2 there's a bunch more c2s back there here is a first gen ce notice that it is missing a warning light cover right there and then we have a mix of thomas fs 65s and first gen ce's with a c2 right there and a bunch down on the end you can also see that there is a ce right in front of the garage that's what i take this to be as well as a c2 over here and a bunch more over here as well as that bluebird and finally march 2021 we can see that there is a handicap ce in the background a few more ce's two first gen ce's there is a row of c2s right here there's some icre's there's some more handicap ce's some more regular ce's a c2 and a few re's here's some more first gen ce's and i'm sure that noah and nishan would love to check this lot out and some more re c2s and a ce back there now we're going to go ahead and take a look at the third and final lot this is also the biggest lot and the reason why i wanted to do this video in the first place now for those other two lights you might have been thinking to yourself oh cameron i mean this is just c2 ce's a couple re's hdx here and there like what what's the point of this why are you showing this off to me and it really wasn't specifically for those two lots it was really just for this one but let me explain so first off kdisd just has unusual specs i think i already said that at the beginning the main thing is with the yellow roofs i want to say and again any any houston person please correct me on this i could be wrong uh, it has been a little while since i've been there but I want to say that this is the only district in the Houston area that still does yellow roofs, and they've been doing that uh, for a very long time. Another thing that they've been doing for a long time, this isn't really unusual, but dual stop signs, uh, they they have been doing that. Uh, the, the oldest buses I have found still have double stop signs on them. 
so it, it just kind of genuinely surprised me. But the main thing here is the amount of Aries that they run. I'm not saying that's a bad thing, I am just saying that it is a very unusual thing for Houston. As far as I know, there were only a couple districts that ran Aries, uh, Magnolia, and Tomball, uh, Umble, and now Cy Fair, but the amount of Aries that they have are very few and far between compared to Katie, which has a significant number of IC Aries, or rather just Aries in general. All right, I'll try and skip all the boring stuff. Uh, a couple things to note here. Take a look at the handicap CEs. Some of these have white roofs, some of these have yellow roofs. I'm not sure why that is. Bunch of C2s and a whole row of retired HDXs as of February 2021. Here's a couple more CEs again with the white roofs. I'm not sure if these are new. I, I don't think they are. Uh, check it out. This one also doesn't have warning light visors, but the rest of them do. And here's just a bunch of ICREs back here. On the other side of the lot, June 2019, some CEs, C2s, and uh, that's about it. There's some REs back there, but uh, nothing too wild. Just figured I'd show off this side. Now, when we start turning back time, this is where things really start to get interesting. I didn't realize that they had as big of a variety as they did. So we'll go back in time now on Google Maps, but also just kind of rewind in my mind. At the time, KDISD was a neighboring district, so I did see their buses on a normal basis, and I knew that they had HDXs, I knew that they had CEs and REs, but I didn't really know much else, uh, some C2s, I knew, I knew all that stuff, but I didn't realize that they had as much of a variety as they did, and especially how long that they kept some of their buses. Perfect example right here, check it out, this is a carbon copy of 66, it's an Amtrain RE right there. I never knew that they had any of those. There's also some handy Crown 3800s, some Bluebird 3800s, which I also assume to be handy. Here's some more Amtrain Aries, some longer Bluebird 3800s. I feel like I remember seeing a handful of these on the road, but I'm not exactly sure. And then a shorty Bluebird 3800, FS65, couple first gen CEs and second gen CEs. And one other thing I wanna point out is the CE, it's numbered 544. Uh, I rode a bus 544 1990 Bluebird International. Loved that bus, uh, but I've explained that before. Going back even further to March 2011, we can see that there is a, another Bluebird 3800 shorty right there. There's a handful of C2s and some CEs on the end. Some more CEs and some early 90s Thomas 3800s. Opposite that, we can see some more Thomas 3800s, some more Bluebird 3800s, and there are two Wayne S1800s. Now for March 2011, I'm not surprised that there are still a couple S1800s around. I know that Cy Fair kept some S1800s around until like 2014 and they were used as band buses, but for them to be sitting in the lot with all the other buses like parked right next to the other buses, those had to have still been spares, honestly. they Why else would they be sitting right next to all the other buses and not parked in the back lot somewhere? Speaking of S1800, we have another one, a Thomas right there, next to a Bluebird 3800. There's some more HDXs back there, some more Amtrain REs, a few ERs. And this is the stuff I didn't know that they had. I was honestly really surprised when I saw this. Three TC REs, there, there's another ER, I remember seeing those. And then some of the 80s ERs, I, I'm surprised I never saw those around. Gosh, I love that style, that generation of ER. And I'm honestly disappointed I didn't see that or the TCRE ever driving around. There's three more of the ERs, there's the TCREs and just the backs of some of the buses. Some more CEs, some more Bluebirds, nothing interesting, FS65. There are two Crown 3800 handies right there and either a Ward or Amtran GMC. One of the other things I just noticed about these older buses is that they have this reflective tape instead of no reflective tape, so. Interesting choice there. And now potato quality, because there are a few interesting finds. December 2007, this is a Crown 3800, a full-sized one. And from that is what looks to be a Lodestar tow truck. Right here, I think that's a little Collins van. We can see that it definitely is handy right there. And there's that. And then another one of these Ward Amtran uh, GMs, but this one has a wheelchair lift. There is another Wayne S1800 right here. A couple Bluebird S1800s. Here is a Wayne Chaperone right here and two what I assume to be the Ward Amtran GMs again. Also notice that this Wayne is handicapped. And yeah, that's it. it there's just... For me, I did not know that a lot of that stuff 
was sitting in Katie's bus lot, and I really wish that I would have been able to see all of that because I was there when this stuff was there. What the heck? Why did I never see this? I'm also definitely curious as to know why they kept these buses around for so long. They definitely had the money to upgrade, but I guess they didn't, you know? If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Anyways, I just wanted to share that. Maybe if you're in Houston, you, you learned something. I don't know. Uh, and if not, then you certainly did learn something about what KDISD has. Anyways, uh, I'll go ahead and wrap up the video. But before we do that, make sure that if you have something for lots of lots or bus stuff for sale, throw it in the video request form that can be found in the description. Yeah. So thank you guys so much for watching. I always do appreciate it. Make sure you subscribe right down here. It's a magical red button that says you are now subscribed to Safety Liner C2. Make sure you comment up here, down here, over here, or over here. I don't know where they put it down, where they put it. Make sure you also give this video a thumbs up or uh, all of this stuff I never knew existed. That's going to keep on happening to me. And I'm just going to be disappointed like 10 years later when I eventually realize, oh my God, where, wh why did I never see any of the good stuff when I was where I'm at? So... <laughs> Um, and make sure you also share this video with a friend, show it to your mom, share it to your dad, show it to a guy on a random street. I don't care. Don't let anything happen to you. So yeah, guys, that's going to do it for this video. Thanks for watching.